Hello everyone, my name's Yvonne and today I am going to show you how to make one of these lovely little milk carton uh, gift boxes and uh, what you're going to need is on the table in front of me uh, and it is some double sided tape, a scissors, a couple of embellishments to go on the top and um, uh, a sentiment. Then you're going to need some lace to go around the edges, which I've backed with double sided tape already. A piece of card, 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres, and a piece of scrapbooking paper, 8 centimetres by 30 centimetres. Now, I've also used for this project a scoring board. Okay, any type of, type of scoring board. This is a hoogie board, but you can use any one that you have. And I've started by scoring this piece of scrapbooking paper at one and a half centimetres and two and a half centimetres. So two and a half centimetres from that side, one and a half from that side. And then I'm going to fold over and burnish. Okay, then this I'm going to score at six and a half centimetres all the way around. So I'll come out to five, six and a half and score around and cut. Now that, what that will give you is a central square of seven centimetres and we're going to cut there, there, there and there. As promised I have cut and burnished over the edge of all four sides. I've also, if I turn it the other way around, you'll see that I've put double sided tape along the four edges there. Okay, Not that side, not the cut side but the non-cut side, the side that you're going to fold in. So if you quickly remove the double sided and then stick it together, you will end up with your box looking like this. Okay, the four sides have been put together. Now if you don't want to use double sided, you can actually use glue instead. So once you have your box done, we're next going to move on to the top. And as I told you already, I've scored up one and a half along the long side and two and a half along this side. Then in order to make sure that my paper fits, the way I find, the easiest way I find to do it is this. I put it on that edge there, right up to that. Then I go around the box until we get to here where there's an overlap, right? And where that overlap is, what you ought to do, and this might be easier for yourself, is just crease it along there and then crease the other edges as well. Holding on tight, crease your edges, and this will tell you where you're going to fold it afterwards. See, you've got your, your folds on it already. And now we'll go on to the next stage. I'm going to use my double sided and I've put the double sided, first of all, turn it over this way. I put the double sided, there's these, the narrow scored edge. I put a piece there and a piece there. Turn it over and alternately there's a half piece there and a half piece there because that's where the sides are going to stick together. I've also put a piece of double sided here on the edge of the narrow uh, fold. Okay, so let's take this off and line it up carefully. And there's your first part of your lid, half made. And it fits on. It will fit on there. 
<laughs> and make it out of water. Right, okay, that's fine. Now then all you're going to do then is to glue it together and that's going to give you the top of your box. Okay, now to do this, take that from there and then take one from the other side. Okay, fully lining it up. it together and that holds the top. All right, now to get these sides together, I'll take a little piece from one side, close it, and a short piece from the other side. You can see why you don't need to a long piece because one half of the three is easy enough. Okay, so that's that done. There's your top. Then next thing we're going to do is we're going to stick this on the front there and put on our two buttons. I've already taken the uh, backing off the cap, so I'm not making it good. Okay, now to make it look a bit better around there, as I said, I've already got this um, with the backing on it. I cut it ever so slightly longer than the actual box. Don't pull it all off yet. Now I find it easier to put the lid on first and then you can see the lid is out and you then put it on afterwards that means that you will get a nice straight piece of lace because the lid will give you the line and a little bit of luck in a prevailing wind make sure it all meets so, once you've done that, take the lid off and use a scissor. There we are. Put the top on and basically there's your box completed, ready to put something very pretty inside it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and uh, follow and subscribe and before long there'll be another video for you to see. Thanks very much. Bye.